First of all, the battery, really simple. What's the point of the battery? Power. Power. Supply power. I got the power. Right. So the battery supplies the power. Um, diode. This diode here, completely irrelevant to the circuit. You do not need the, the diode in the circuit to make the circuit work. However, we actually have the diode in the circuit for the very simple reason. Sometimes students go and get the battery around the wrong way. And if this happens, then you might damage the transistors. Okay, so we put the diode in there because the diode is a one-way valve. It's a safety component, okay? We call it a protection diode because if by any chance you go and put the battery around the wrong way, then nothing will happen because no electricity will be able to flow the other way. Okay, we'll be able to flow that way. So uh, that's the purpose of that. This here, this 390 ohm resistor, do you remember with LEDs, they are sensitive to too much current? Yes? No? Yeah. Okay, so what this resistor here does, it actually protects these two LEDs from overcurrent, and it's the current limiting resistor for the LEDs. Okay, so that's why you have that bit. So basically, these three components, in other words, that section there, supply a nice safe current uh, to the rest of the circuit. Now, this bit here and this bit here are identical. When you first switch it on, even though these transistors are the same model, probably manufactured in the same batch on the same machine, okay, they will not be 100% identical. They will be slightly different. Cause? Um, is there a Jordan Lee in this class? Jordan? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's away. He's not here. Oh, right. Um, so, even though these two transistors will be identical, if you went down to the atomic level, there would be a few million atoms different, or possibly a few hundred, I don't know. Um, and basically what that means is that one of them will be very, very, very slightly faster than the other one. Kav, do you agree with that? Yep. Good. All right, so one of them will switch on first, and the other one won't. So as soon as one switches on, let's assume that this one switches on. As soon as this one switches on, this LED lights up because you get basically a flow of current along here. When this transistor switches on, um, basically this is like a switch closing. And there, there is a little bit of a voltage drop there because you've got PN junctions and NPN uh, junctions there. Um, but it'll be very small. So basically this will the electricity will flow down there and that will um, switch the LED on. So, as soon as that goes and switches on, okay, this, um, as soon as that one switches on, all oh, right, as soon as that one switches on, this point here becomes near enough to zero, ground, so that will make the capacitor here, this point here will also immediately become zero, okay? So when that becomes zero, this one turns hard off. So that one's switched off, and that LED will be completely off. Okay. But because this is a capacitor, some uh, now that that's zero, some electricity will start flowing down this resistor and start charging or reverse charging this capacitor here. So um, a voltage will slowly start to build up. I say slowly, it happens pretty quickly, but in terms of electronics, it is quite slow. So as that charge starts to t build up from the resistor and capacitor, and you remember you did the RC networks last week? Yeah? And so you get a slow build up of charge on one side of the resistor, on one side of the capacitor through the resistor. That's what's happening here. And as soon as it gets to the point where there's enough voltage here to turn this transistor on, it all switches. So basically what happens, this transistor then suddenly switches on, which lights this LED up. As soon as this transistor switches on, this point here, which was at a high voltage, becomes zero voltage, okay, because this is switched on here. Um, and as soon as that happens, this point here, which was um, a turning this transistor on because there was voltage there, becomes zero, okay? And as soon as that becomes zero, this switches off and this LED turns off. <coughs> and then as soon as this becomes zero here, sorry, 
Well, as soon as that switches off, that voltage there then rises, which means that that is higher than this one and switches this one on. Oh no, this one's already switched on. Ah. Okay, so um, this one switched off because that's zero voltage because it's there, and then this slowly starts charging, and then as this starts getting higher and higher and higher, it gets to the threshold point, which then switches this one on back on, turns the LED off, sorry, turns the LED on, as soon as that one turns the LED on, this becomes zero again, which then switches this one off, and the LED turns off. Boom. Boom. And then it just goes flip, flop, flip, flop, flip, flop. Just like that. And we can actually go into Circuit Wizard and see that happening. So if I open Circuit Wizard and... Give me that video later. <laughs> okay. We want to get Circuit Wizard. Come on, Circuit Wizard. I have clicked. I've clicked three times now. That's nice with the cotton candy. It's telling me to work. Oh, yes. <laughs> I told you I was checking Here we go, finally. If we go back to the circuit diagram and we go and attach a probe, because we like probes, uh, we're going to stick a probe here and we're going to stick another probe uh, just here. Okay. What the probes to? They let you look at the voltage along the graph. So you've got a red probe and we've got a purple probe. Or a blue, is it blue probe? Blue. All right, so when I click play, all right, now you can see the voltage changing. And if I go and make that voltage a little bit bigger, um, maximum, let's make it six, you can now see that the voltage on the red probe, okay, is where it's the LED is turning on. And the, there, this is the voltage on this capacitor. And you can see the capacitor um, charging up slowly. If we go and grab hold of that one. Okay, so now you can see the capacitor charging up until it reaches the threshold and then turning that on. And every time it turns that on, okay, then the... Uh, LED kept switched on. And if you wanted, we could do, we could add another two probes on this capacitor here and this transistor here, which would be exactly the opposite of that, he says. Dun, dun, dun. So if I grab a probe, probe. Because we enjoy probing around. That one's a green probe. And that one's a pink probe. Okay, so now you can see they're both the pink and the red are there and there, and the green, the blue are here and here. Okay, so you guys can have a go at that. Yep. So I take one of those probes off.
So you've just got 